quietly or not. And have all the talent in the world and never get anywhere. Some farmers bait a hook and let you bite upon it. And now, without further ado, Okay, folks, welcome to yet another episode of Planet Shivers Podcast. I'm Albert Shivers, here with Isaac Wilson on sound. And our special guest today is a visual artist who works in multiple mediums, does realism portraits so real you think they can jump out and bite you. He's done Johnny Cash, Robin Williams, Red Fox, De Niro, King, Elvis, and even Frankenstein. Thanks for doing the show, Jose Rivera. Thank you for it's having good to have me. you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm, I'm, was, as soon as I seen your stuff, I was so excited to have you on. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. I appreciate it. So, we'll jump to the beginning, I guess. And so, like, what got you started in art and around what time? Um, I, I, I was drawing since I can remember. I absolutely, since I can remember. But, um... I believe it was my, my stepfather helped me once with a school project and he painted some type of fruit, whatever, and I was mm-hmm. amazed. I thought it was incredible. Took it to school. I, of course I didn't paint it, but <laughs> you know what I mean? It right. just it just put a battery in my back and I was like, I, I, I wanna try this and and I was pretty good at it. So, you know, I, I got good feedback on whenever I drew, so mm-hmm. you know, that launched me. Yeah, positive, positive, positive feedback. Yeah, positive oh, feedback. It, it launched me. So, yeah, and um, I've never stopped. <laughs> yeah, I've never stopped. So, but it, my main thing was um, cartoons. I, you know, I, I grew up okay. drawing cartoons, Popeye, oh, okay. Flintstones, and everything. So, yeah, that's that's he. He definitely was my first influence mm-hmm. on on this art thing. You know, and I would say I was probably like seven, seven or eight years old. Gotcha. So, yeah. And you started to recreate the cartoons that you oh, that yeah. you like. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And and then you know it turns into drawing my own cartoons. Okay. And in high school, I used to draw comic strips. And oh, nice. Pass them around, and it was it was fun. I always had fun with it. Mm-hmm. Know, drawing on everything I can. <laughs> Did you read comics at the time? Um. Yes, absolutely. Um, Marvel, DC. Okay. Yeah. Um, definitely. I was a big cartoon head. I've, okay. every, everything was cartoons in my life. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. It was pretty fun. So then what eventually got you into um, doing portraits? And, and portraits, yeah. Um, well, uh, maybe like, I would say like seven years ago, my daughter um, asked me if I could do a portrait for her. Mm-hmm. Didn't really, I haven't touched portraits in a long time. I still would you know, dabble, right. and I wasn't taking it serious whatsoever, I just knew I could draw, and, you know, it was on the shelf, so she had asked me to draw, um, a lead singer, I, I forget the band, um, for one of the groups she listened to, and she posted okay. it on her Facebook, and right. her Facebook page lit up, mm. and, um, <laughs> you know, my daughter comes to me the next day, and she says, Dad, look, you know, and, um, that sparked something in me, she mm. said, maybe you should start doing these yeah so and it, and it took off from there that was it i had no turning back right you know? mm-hmm. <laughs> so, so yeah. about how long ago was that oh maybe like six seven years ago okay at least at least six seven years ago okay gotcha you know, before i was like you know let me let me dig deeper into this and then i did my homework and see um looked up you know um certain artists mm-hmm. that were doing portraiture and right. um i i came across an artist named Kelvin Okafor and this looked like a photograph and I said I'm, I'm aiming for that so, right and to this day I still <laughs> to this day I definitely still am so so who were some so you mentioned one were there, what are some other artists that, that, that you look to me. that inspire you yeah um I've been inspired by well I, I like all art. The right. thing is, is that I, I'm so all over the place. Mm-hmm. Um, portraiture was definitely um, this Kelvin Okafor, and there's another, another. I, I, it's a group of them. Um, I think his name is Arnees. Arnees. He's. Um, I believe he's um, Guyanese or something. Okay. Incredible. These guys draw like super incredible. 
but then you know there was Banksy and I like loved yeah. the old masters and then impressionists mm-hmm. and everything everything pretty much inspired me. Just gotcha. art. Yeah, I'm all over the place when it comes with that. Yeah, no, as am I. <laughs> yeah. Did you have any schooling in art? Um no. I, okay. I well I went to you know, regular high school art right, yeah. class, didn't do too well. <laughs> because gotcha. because I wanted to draw what I wanted. I didn't follow right. the lessons. I just wanted to draw. Right. Draw well, I, was, I went to um, an intermediate school on Staten Island mm-hmm. that was for the arts. Yeah. And I had to apply in the whole bit. And I didn't do well either for the same reason. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, I just, it just wasn't... I wasn't interested yeah. on the, the assignments given to me. You know, in, in all fairness, though, she was... She, she told me I was very talented. She... Mm-hmm. She didn't completely fail me, right. but she just wished I would follow what she was doing, right. and I totally, <laughs> totally right. didn't. I just <laughs> was not interested at all. Gotcha. So, yeah. So, we'll stick on the portraiture just for a little bit longer. Um, two questions on that. So, yeah. what materials do you use to make those portraits, and what paper do you use? Okay, um... Well, when I first started, I started with the Strathmore um, Ivory Tone, mm-hmm. um, which has like a little grit to it, um, less forgiving, you know, it's, it's kind of less forgiving when, when trying to take away, mm-hmm. but wonderful paper. And now I use a smooth Bristol board. Okay, um, that's um, the same thing Canson, I use. Yeah. Yep. And um, the results come quicker and um, a lot more forgiving paper you know um but yeah that's that's pretty much it can't say no crystal board smooth yeah no yeah, it's, yeah, i yeah. recently just started using that because yeah. the paper i use got discontinued really and yeah. i was like oh no because yeah, i yeah. was so used to it yeah you yeah, know yeah absolutely and i found the bristol board and, and really dig it's, it yeah it's really good i, I love it yeah, just pause for a quick second just so oh. you could see isaac this oh, is yeah. um jose's instagram just so you can get an idea of what we're talking Scroll about. Down. Holy shit. Did you see De Niro in here? Oh, yeah, check him out. It's a, it's a fucking photograph, man. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Oh, they love that one. The, oh, this no, guy. No, 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 no. <laughs> that, oh, that I could have gotten so many requests yeah. for him. Yeah, yeah, I sold them for 10 bucks. That was oh, the yeah. first, that was the actual first portrait I ever sold was, um, Bob Marley. Marley. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Ten bucks. And I thought I robbed the guy. <laughs> I actually wow. thought I robbed him. I was like, oh, I feel bad. Hmm. But it uh, turns out that, yeah, he robbed the hell out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the lessons we yeah, learn, man. Yeah, That's, yeah. Especially, like, when when you... I come at, at it in the beginning from the same direction of, like, you know, you don't know and you don't want to, like, yes, be too yes, much and yes, be, yeah. like, pretentious mm-hmm, and all these mm-hmm. things. So absolutely. you end up under underselling yeah, yourself. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. You know, and that's a struggle I think for every artist. Yeah. On what's your worth or what's not not necessarily your worth, but you know, mm-hmm. the time and effort and, and these take long. You know what I mean? No, oh so, yeah. 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 So you know, I've come to a point where I'm like, you know, I'm definitely underselling, but I do sell them for. They're not cheap. Right. But they're not crazy as well. Right. You know, sometimes you, you push what you can mm-hmm. to see if they buy. You could tell by the customer. You could tell by the customer, too. I'm right. fair. I'm, I'm very fair, you know, and I tell them, what are you looking at and, and right. you know, what price are you looking at? So, yeah. But no, you know, not any circumstance do I lessen the art. I, I give them my 100%, regardless mm-hmm. what they're going to pay for. Right. Because you know? uh, it is. It's an abstract process to price because it's you know it's it's you it's the time you put into that piece that you're selling yeah and but it's also like every piece that came before Mm -hmm. that that gave you the ability to do that last one one. every every piece and you probably know this is something different Mm -hmm. it's never the same not not Mm -hmm. for me anyway it's it's a new learning experience hair is different sometimes the pores are different you know Mm -hmm. what i mean and depending on the quality of your reference too yeah, you know, big I, time. I hate, I hate adding in. I, I really do. Mm-hmm. That's that's horrible. I like to see what I'm drawing. Right. You know? right. But sometimes you gotta work with what you got. Make it yeah. fuzzy a little bit. Right. <laughs> yeah. Shave yeah. it out a little bit. Mm-hmm. And hope, hope nobody mm-hmm. sees it. <laughs> right, yeah. mm-hmm. So, they're like from doing now. Like my portraiture is, 
is definitely not the same as yours. But there are certain things that, like, I look at, there are certain things that will bring a face together in art. It isn't always an exact science of getting it from the picture to the page. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You know, and, and I tend to notice there are things like, again, that don't translate the same that you may have to adjust. Yes, yes. From, from the, again, from the photograph to the art. To the art. Something's just different mm-hmm. and it, it becomes this process of figuring it out. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a puzzle. Everyone yeah. is a puzzle, and you got to mm-hmm. put the pieces together. Yeah. Fun. The little, the little cleanups and the little details. Absolute favorite part. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's the, I love that part. Mm-hmm. The beginning part. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> like, like, yeah. The beginning part is like. Uh, you know, laying down that foundation. Yeah. Yeah. Is yeah. always like mm-hmm. it, it, it's. It's the beginning, and, it, and it is, it's not that much fun for me either, but yeah. it, it's so important. It is. Because as is. you build on top of it, if there mm-hmm. is a screw-up, mm-hmm. you'll find it. Absolutely, you know? absolutely. You know, you have them days where, because um, some of these portraits have taken me close to 80 hours, you know, 100 hours. Wow. I'm working two hours a day, four mm-hmm. hours, maybe six hours on the weekend. Mm-hmm. And um, totally lost what I was saying. <laughs> Sorry. And um, what were you saying? I just blanked out. Um, we, we're, oh yeah, no, we, uh, this could all be cut and okay, snapped yeah, yeah. and no, done all, right, all, good, all good, sorts right. of fun so stuff. We can, we can just flow. Yeah, okay, it'll, it'll, no, no, that's fine. We were talking about um, um, like the the process of the drawing, oh, the and building, the yeah, and so, yeah. Yeah, just like you said, we we you know you lay out the foundation, and now I know what I was going. <laughs> you look at it by the third day, you're like, ugh, I. I want to scrap it, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? You get frustrated, you see the eye, and you're just like, uh. But patience, that's what I learned. I just stick with it, stick mm-hmm. with it, and then, you know, by day 40, <laughs> you're like, you know what? It's starting to look like, you know, the mm-hmm. way I want. The mm-hmm. beginning process is always hard because, mm-hmm. you know, the highlights are off and, mm-hmm. and everything else, but. Do you ever, uh, like, will you ever put a piece, let's say you're just like, uh can't look at this one anymore. Have you ever put a piece and come back to it? Yes. New eyes. Fresh eyes. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. that's, uh, yeah. I, I highly believe in that. Mm-hmm. Um, when I'm frustrated. And I've, I've, I would say in, in the history of me doing portraits, I might have scrapped two. Okay. Out of frustration. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. <laughs> so you also do other mediums as well. Yes. Um... What are some of those? Um, oil painting, acrylic. Mm-hmm. Um, I love charcoal. Charcoal is, yeah, I, I love charcoal. Um, pan pastel, which is another one that I really love. Um, um, just about every paint you mm-hmm. think, yeah. Any, anything with paint, mm-hmm. um, I, I dive in each direction. Gotcha. So, I, yeah, I'm kind of obsessed with anything paint <laughs> but I, I mainly now work with um with um oil and mm-hmm. it, as of recently with spray paint too okay i've been working with spray paint which okay. is very enjoyable so what kind of stuff are you doing with that um stencil when i do my oh, stencil okay. work yeah nice. the, the last gallery okay yeah i would draw the picture cut it out mm-hmm. so so process but i like yeah. the, the final results are, are kind of cool so yeah, yeah, I definitely. just did my first stencil not that not that long ago. Mm-hmm. I just tr- tried a Marilyn Monroe one. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It's, they're they're kind of hard, man. <laughs> it it I, is like yeah, it's a it's a different it's a whole different it's thing. It's a whole different ball game. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a whole different ball game. And then I I did I believe five pieces or six pieces. By the fifth piece, I was an expert. <laughs> right. <laughs> by the by the last piece, I was super expert, and I was mm-hmm. it. So. So I'm, I might revisit that again. Okay. Mm. Definitely. Mm. And is it, if I get this right, that you did some, some paintings on pizza boxes? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Gift boxes. Okay. Cardboard. I love cardboard. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I drew on everything. Every and anything. Anything that I seen blank and I was like, mm-hmm. you know, yeah, on everything. In school, you know, sometimes it's gotten me in trouble. You yeah, know, I draw on everything, man. Mm-hmm. Like when I say everything, we get the test, and <laughs> any any blank paper all around the page, the whole back of it completely right. drawings. So yeah, I've been obsessed since I was young. 
<laughs> no, yeah, yeah, same here. Even yeah. if it was just just this designs. Yeah, yeah. I just had to do something. I was just like, you know, create something. Mm. You know, wasn't looking for any feedback. But, you know, sometimes the teachers would be like, this is good, but yeah. <laughs> this is, this is, the test isn't so good, but this right. is pretty good. So I thought that was always cool. Yeah, I went through a, a a phase in school where I would draw mazes. Oh, really? In through yeah. notebooks, yeah. and then like give them to the like it was it was uh, what I didn't I realized looking back is it was a way of me trying to make friends mm -hmm. in school because yeah, yeah. I was like the quiet art kid, mm -hmm. so I would draw these mazes and give them to people. To try it's like, you try to do it and yes. try to do it. And then before you know it, you know, going to school in New York, there's 30 kids in your class. Yeah, and I got yeah. 30 of them asking me, do me a maze, do me a maze. <laughs> yes. And I'm like, this is a problem. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it turns into work. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. That's cool. That's cool. I, I, I would say when I, when I um, moved up from Jersey, mm -hmm. I did the same thing. To mm -hmm. make friends and everything. I would draw, right. you, know, you know, hand off pictures to my friends and my buddies. Do cartoon strips and stuff, mm -hmm. so, and turn it into the same thing. Do another one. Do are you gonna right. do another episode of this? And right. yeah, that was pretty fun. Yeah, mm -hmm. I um, I had yeah. What was um, like, what was your comic about? Well, I had kind of, a, it's, it's kind of embarrassing. I, I did one too, and I'll share it. So we will be embarrassed <laughs> together. I had a, a comic strip called Tyrone and Homestump. Okay, and it was these two inner city kids, and uh -huh. they were just have these little adventures or whatever. <laughs> it was a little graphic sometimes, <laughs> but, you know, the, my friends loved it. They they loved it. I would pass them around. They would float around the school. So, uh -huh. yeah, I, I did a couple episodes <laughs> of those, but they were, it was fun, man. Gotcha. I, I used to leave um, um, little little drawings, you know, leave them there. Mm -hmm. just, I would set them all over the place just to have my name on them. Right. You know what I mean? So people will find them and be like, do all this. Mm. Like, yeah, yeah. So, gotcha. Yeah, 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 it's fun. It's fun. It definitely was fun. I was always spaced out with drawing. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter yeah. what I was doing. I was, I wanted to draw something. <laughs> mm. So, yeah. Yeah, mine um, was, again, in, in, in middle school, which was in this, in the very not PC. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I had, um, <laughs> it was superheroes and his sidekick, so it was Magnet Man and the Fat Midget. <laughs> and, <laughs> <That's great. laughs> and Magnet Man was just a thin person and he had a huge magnet on his head that like made no sense how he could even stand. <laughs> yeah. And then he just had his his little sidekick was literally just six circles, like a circle for his body, and then circles <laughs> his hands, feet, and one head. And he was punch. just yeah. He was just a little like donut hole. <laughs> who would always somehow like save the day with his mm -hmm. weight and size okay. and, yeah. yeah and the uh, teachers would find those too yeah yeah I've, I've, yeah I've been I've been shown a couple of things that I drew and I'm like, <laughs> you know they were like yeah. can't do this right sorry <laughs> but it was the language it was nothing you know crazy like that right you know? yeah I know. No, but it was all comedy like everything mm -hmm. I did it was all comedy it wasn't like serious or nothing like that right so that's why the guy, I think that's why the guys the kids enjoyed it you know when I yeah. did them wrong it was funny so. oh no if, you, yeah. if you're funny in school that's <laughs> yeah like, that was, it's yeah you know, I was a clown too so gotcha. <laughs> yeah that definitely does help it does it, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's a survival method yeah, yeah it you, is absolutely you fit into you know one of the of one of the archetypes mm -hmm. you know and, and that's what gets you through yeah, it yeah absolutely people find you funny they seem to be drawn to you yeah. in some way somehow so, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah I believe in that yeah. Yeah. so of your pieces are there any like that are personal favorites of yours um absolutely um I had a piece called Daughter it was these caricatures that I drew up and um it's it's a pretty much a character sitting down and you can see the anxiety in his face and you know all that you know it's a lot of um hard lines and everything but mm -hmm. you see you know kind of solace towards the front because he's writing daughter on the floor okay. and um that that is personal to me because i grew up i have, I have one child mm -hmm. and you know you get in some trouble sometimes and this mm -hmm. and that but my daughter always kept me focus like you know right. with my anxiety and with everything else mm -hmm. 
everything I did right was to prove to her, you know, to, to walk a straight line from my child. Right. And that that's the most personal piece I have. I, will, I wouldn't let that one go. I'm right. a prince, but I, right. <laughs> but I can't let that one go. No, I understand that. Oh, yeah. And, um... And I have a couple oil paintings. The Diga I did, I did a Diga, a ballerina one that okay. I, I love because it just came out cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it came out really good. And it took me a while, but that was, I think that was my first oil painting that I was like, okay, I almost got this, you know. Mm -hmm. So with the mediums and, you know, how it looked and I um, varnished it and everything and it came out pretty sweet, so. Right. That one's pretty close to me too. So from now you work, you work at painting, you do portraiture. On the average, um, like you mentioned it a little bit before, what's what's the process, the length? Um, how long does it take you? For a portrait? Let's say for a portrait, yeah. For a portrait, um, uh, the, the start of it, I, I would say I would, when I start off, I would start uh, maybe four hour session just to get everything aligned mm -hmm. up and just just the, the base right you know and then um I would say I would draw after during work weeks I would draw two hours maybe three depending how into it I am mm -hmm. and um that will go on for maybe two weeks three weeks depending mm -hmm. how far I have to go with the portrait now are you saying like two three hours per day or per day, okay. per day. and mm -hmm. on the weekends um I would do a four-hour session in the morning and maybe a three-one at night, mm -hmm. three-hour session. So you know, I'll get hours in and jot down the hours. Okay. And yeah, some some it depends on the detail, on the detail how long it would take. Mm -hmm. um, Martin Luther King took me, uh, took me about almost two hundred hours at least. Wow. But that one it wasn't a um, commission, okay. so I just <laughs> played with it for right. about a year and a half. It was. It was the ones you put on the shelf and then you say, oh, no. But he's complete now until I open them and start, <laughs> start working right. on them again. But, yeah. He's yeah, good. that one, that one's um, on your Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Great. That's the first one I tried doing pours and okay. stuff like that. And it worked right. out pretty well. That was a pretty good drawing. Yeah, oh, no, definitely. And one yeah. thing, one of your portraits that I, like, really like, I'm sure a lot of people do, but um, the Robin Williams one? Robin Williams, yes. And now there's... Yeah. There's plenty of reasons to like that portrait. Yeah, yeah, thank you. The, the one that, um, the thing about it that stands out to me is, other than liking Robin Williams. Mm -hmm. I love him. <laughs> I love Robin Williams. Looking at it from like an artist's perspective, mm -hmm. what first went through my mind is, okay, um, you have, you could have chose non-bearded Robin Williams. Yeah, I, I probably <laughs> wish I did. <laughs> By the time I was done, I probably wish next time I'm drawing him without beard. Right. Definitely. But I, I was admired and was impressed that you, because you know that's the harder road. Oh man! Yes. But it came out amazing. Like oh, I, I, like beards. I've done beards, that's and you know it, it is. It's just like nightmare, nightmare. Yeah, yeah you know it, it, it can throw a wrench into it. Yeah, that that process. I tell you what, um. That process was slow, and I learned mm -hmm. as I went because uh, Robin Williams was uh, maybe another one that was about a year in the making. He was just mm -hmm. always on the side, and it was the beard that uh, he was done. He was completely done. Right. It was the beard. You go in, and uh, I don't know, and then you know everything I tried, but the paper was so forgiving. Like I said, the Bristol right. board, and I think that was the first Bristol board that I used, okay. smooth. And it was so forgiving, you know, and it, it worked out pretty well. But I'm pretty sure if I crack Robin Williams open, I'll be at the beard again. Okay. So sometimes you got to just learn when to step yeah. back. Never happy, you know, I'm never, nah. never happy. So No, nah, that, that's, that's mm -hmm. the real artist. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, just... yeah, but he's, he's another one that I, uh, I hold dear mm -hmm. to. I love Robin Williams. Right. I thought he was the funniest man in the yeah. world when I was a kid. Yeah. You know, and um, yeah. Definitely, definitely another one that I hold dear to me. Mm -hmm. Did you um, did you do that portrait um, before he passed or afterwards? Right, right after he did. Okay. Right after he did. Right. Um, there was um, another one I did too, um, David Bowie. Oh. I did. Okay. And I did him on, 
on black paper with mm -hmm. white pencil chalk. And um, I, I like that one a lot too. Reason being, I, I never listened to David Bowie's music. I, doing a portrait, I put his music on. Right. I became a huge fan. Mm -hmm. I'm a huge David Bowie fan now. Nice. So, yeah. So, this leads into another question I like to ask artists, which is, um, so do you, you do you listen to music regularly when you work? Absolutely. <laughs> you know, of course. I, I've, I've uh, learned so much music because of art. Mm. jazz and, and rock and just you know sometimes even at work I ask people suggestions throw me throw me somebody that I could listen to you know right. and um I love it I oh man that is like I'm in my own world mm. put my earphones on and I just dive right in it's the best best feeling in the world I, yeah. I love doing that yeah absolutely yeah, yeah. no and I, I I like to ask artists that I've asked of many of them who've been on yeah. and um because I can't not listen to music yeah. or at least something you know while i'm working like there you know there are moments when i could see myself like tuning it out because mm -hmm. i'm not zeroing in yeah, on yeah, yeah. what you're doing but to have that there and, and like you said like i've learned so much music mm -hmm. by just throwing something on whether it's you know uh, uh, on the computer or, or put a cd in that's new like i may have bought yes. a new cd and throw yes. it in um, and it does. It, it to me, like it lubricates the it whole does. thing. Oh yes, definitely. I mean, it's a medium on its own. You, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just, it's just. Um, there's certain sounds. I mean, it, when when I'm doing an actual portrait, I tend to stay on the same album. Okay. Yeah, and it's weird because then I know these albums word by word <laughs> by the time right. I'm done <laughs> because it, it it keeps me in the groove. And when all else fails, jazz. That's 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 my like number one go to. If I'm not really feeling it or get into it, you know, I'll put some old school jazz and okay. yeah, it, it suits me very well. Who do you listen to jazz wise? Oh man, I I listen to everybody. I love Dave Brubeck, um, Coltrane. Okay. You know, um, even the older stuff, Dizzy Gillespie and and um, Billy Holiday. Mm -hmm. I I just love the old feel of jazz even swing music you know sinatra and yeah yeah, you know, yeah. King cole and, mm -hmm. I, I love i love these guys you know i just got a couple of days ago a brubeck cd yeah he's um awesome. that i've been um like just pining for because i had it on um the name of the record is the real ambassadors mm -hmm. yes and i had it on vinyl but it's beat you it's know it's beat, beat up it. yeah and listen to like vinyl while you're doing art is a little annoying, only because <laughs> you gotta flip it oh, okay, every yeah, twenty yeah. minutes or fifteen minutes. Yeah. You have to, so where a CD will just go. Yeah, yeah. I so like. Off. Yeah. I thought like this is so cool. I'm so artsy. I'm listening <laughs> to vinyl and drawing. <laughs> but yeah. what, after about like two or three records of having to stop yeah. every twenty minutes like, and go I'm flip it, I'm like screw this. <laughs> yeah, CDs. <I'm> <laughs> <it. laughs> yeah, absolutely. I I put on um um the Apple Music. I'll do playlists. You know, see, some sometimes things don't work, and you're just like, "What am I listening to?" And um, I think mm -hmm. the last, the last, um, my last gallery I listened to, there's a called um, The Dead Can Dance. I don't know okay. if you ever heard them, right. and they're awesome. These these guys mm -hmm. are awesome. Little trippy tribal mm -hmm. kind of music, but yeah, that was Sweet. the last, the last one I listened to. That was, they're good. They're awesome. <laughs> if you get a chance to try to pitch. I know, them. definitely. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, we'll have to mm -hmm. do that. And yeah, like, I, I find that, like you were saying, that depending on what I'm drawing or what I'm doing, if it's a collage or drawing or whatever, there are certain groups or genres that will kind of bring the inspiration out Absolutely. a little bit better Absolutely. depending on what yes. you're working yeah. on. Absolutely. You know, like, with my, like, cross-hatching ink stuff, for whatever reason... I'll tend to like, I won't always, but the what brings the best out of me is like old jazz, like yeah, from yeah. 30s back, mm -hmm. yeah. or just like old time scratchy blues yeah, yeah. will do it for me too, because somehow it puts me in this space that the other tunes don't, don't yeah, and it, it's conducive to doing the art that I want to do. Absolutely, yeah. It, it definitely sets the mood in the zone, and you know, mm -hmm. and for your concentration too, it, it, it'll zoom you in, which, you know, sometimes other music doesn't, which you 
change <laughs> change up, try to find something that works for what you're doing. But mm -hmm. I, I totally believe in that. Yeah, I, I mm -hmm. totally believe in that. No, it's cool because there were. It's funny. Everybody is so different. Mm -hmm. There are people I've come across that like can't have need total silence. Yeah, which I like. I can appreciate it, but like I wouldn't ever be able to do it. Yeah, because it would it would be tough for me. You know. Yeah. yeah. But you know, it's, so it's everybody, you know, everyone, everywhere in between, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I couldn't do it either. I, yeah. I, not, not necessarily try, but I caught myself like, why is it so quiet? Yeah, like, exactly. Oh, I that's, the that's, music. Yeah. That's what happens. Like, if I can hear my pencil. <laughs> yeah, there's a problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I totally agree with yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Something, and, you know, I try to maybe overthink it. Mm -hmm. But now, like, you know, I grew up in a place where there was noise all the time. Yeah. You know? And I moved up here. Silence was really weird to me. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. And um, maybe that has something to do with it. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Yeah. You know? Well, I'm, I'm from the city, so. Okay. It's, it's noisy. You yeah, know? yeah. It's never quiet, especially in my house. So <laughs> it's, uh, it's always commotion or something mm -hmm. going on. So, yeah, silence is, is kind of awkward to me as well mm. but yeah working with music is definitely yeah. the move for me <laughs> i agree <laughs> yeah so how long have you been up here in pennsylvania um I've, I've been here a year um this january 4th so i've been here for a little over a year but i okay. went to high school um in east Strasburg. Oh, okay yeah i got sent up here when i was younger um up in Bushkill, and I went to East Charlesburg High School, and um, really good experience, really nice experience. The people well, up here are wonderful, you know. Mm -hmm. and, um, you know, life happened, mm -hmm. and then I, you know, Facebook, you know, right. bumped into some old friends, and I found my way back up this way. Well, yeah, cool. I love it up here. That's, this is this is a place for me, man. Gotcha. <laughs> I, I love it up here. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So where, where where exactly did you grow up? Um, I grew up in Elizabeth. Well, I was okay. born I was born in Newark, New Jersey, and okay. I grew up on the borderline of um, Newark and Elizabeth. Okay. Um, inner city, but um, gotcha. Half and half, you know, half sticks, half right. Rural, rural city. Yeah. And um, it was it was it was a nice place growing up. Yeah, I can't mm. complain. Yeah. You know, it's a little crazy over there sometimes. Yeah. But, but you know, every everywhere has crazy. Exactly. You know, but um. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm happy here, though. This is my new home, so... Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool. Mm -hmm. cool. Thank you. Because yeah. <laughs> even, you know, even, um, you know, your location has so much to do with it mm -hmm. in, in terms of creativity. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I, I believe definitely our past follow through in our art. Oh, Everybody, yeah. Everybody, pretty much, you know. And, um... Even here, when I first came here, I didn't mm -hmm. know this was such an artsy town. Mm -hmm. You know, and then we hit the galleries, and you know, the light bulb went off in my head. Right. I was like, you know, I, I, I have to be in one gallery at least so I could say I've yeah. done it. You know, yeah. I know, you know, it's working out pretty good. I've yeah. gotten, I've received very nice feedback, and you know, it, it pushes me to keep working a little bit harder. And it's it's worked out too, and it's yeah. been a good base. Yes, you know? absolutely. Especially for the arts, because you know, as you branch out, you got New York's not too far, mm -hmm. Philly's, Philly's not too not far, too far. Allentown, Lehigh Valley's right there. Mm -hmm. So it's it, you it, you it's it's we found ourselves in this mm -hmm. weird middle yeah we're area in the middle bubble <laughs> yeah. and and it's up to you whether you're gonna you know spread your wings and right. and, and drift away you know drift out a little bit mm -hmm. which I'm. I'm Want to do, you know what I mean? Right. Hmm. What was the name of Shalom's gallery? Oh man, there was like this one, like cr crazy cool but sick. whacked out yeah. gallery down there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not connections, is it? That might uh, be another one. You might. Uh, uh, I'll have to look it up. Because yeah, <laughs> that's if 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 not um, if he's because he's like a lot of the gallery is his own work. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know how much he gets outside people. Yeah. yeah. Like. Um, we had gone there and I showed him my portfolio mm -hmm. and it was just like the whole thing was just a trip yeah. <laughs> because and we've gone through it on the show before but I'll tell it quick again <laughs> we're like we go to this place 
and um, we were told to like ask for shalom. So like it's like this one name <laughs> kind of thing, you know. Yeah. yeah. So there's this dude sitting there at the front, and there's about 25 square um, canvases with faces made out of children's toys and like broken, uh-huh. broken instruments and stuff. Yeah. Faces. And all the faces are supposed to be like specific speakers. Allen Ginsberg, King, you know, whoever they were, there were a lot. Yeah. And on top of all of that, each each canvas had a little speaker behind it and it was talking as whoever the person was. Wow. And all the whole bunch of them were all going at once. Oh, yeah, twenty. So, <laughs> Interesting. So you just walk into this. And it throws you, and like we, like is you know Shalom here, and the guy's like, oh, I'll go see, and he just disappears, yeah. comes back, <laughs> and he says like Shalom will see you. Oh, okay. and we're like, all right, so we have to go up these like spooky ass stairs <laughs> in the back, in the, it opens up into this big upstairs, and like there's Shalom sitting all the way in the corner, with like this little dog next to him. And he, it's like, I, it was just, it was such a weird, trippy experience. So he actually played the role of Shalom. He totally played, like, he was, he, he was, he is, <laughs> exactly. That's so interesting. So like, we did, like, meekly, I like went up to him, and I was like, I have, I just felt like such a slug, you know, <laughs> like, I had my, my portfolio, and like, his whole upstairs is just open, it's just one big room, yeah. full of art. Just the, the whole yeah, thing, yeah, yeah. like just um, canvases piled everywhere, unfinished work over here, and just all these like thing, like probably like you know like fifteen twenty deep of just canvases wow. lined up against the walls, wow. like probably things and that he's been doing you know for Pretty decades. Yeah, you know? Yeah. So he looked at my portfolio and he was cool, he was nice, but like it was just like. He, the whole build-up to him yeah, yeah. was intimidating. <laughs> I can imagine, man. That's nerve-wracking. Yeah. It's a little nerve-wracking right there. Yeah. yeah. But it, but that was a... I think it was called Connections. Yeah, that was a Connections. Yeah. yeah. Very interesting. But I decided to look that to place up. Yeah, if for nothing else, than just to see some of his yeah, work. Yeah, absolutely. Because it's, it's, you know, it's very unique. Yeah. It's very it's different. Very, huh? very different. Uh, I like that. I, yeah. I definitely like new and different. Yeah, well, that's, the, cool. the, that's the place. Yeah, then, then that's the place yeah. alone. Okay. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cool. yeah, I'll double check the name of it okay. and confirm it with you. But but yeah, yeah that would be a cool that. spot yeah, to stop down that there. That sounds cool. That yeah. place and the Charles Williams Gallery. Charles Williams Gallery. That's a whole. That's a whole another trip. Yeah. Really? That's amazing. It's yeah. Cool. Yeah. Do yeah this place. dude's gallery is in his in his house. Okay. And um, when we, again, like it was Isaac's grandfather was showing me around um, Easton to mm-hmm. kind of get me into some of the places. And we go in one place. And I'm like, this dude's got a kitchen in his gallery. It's weird. <laughs> and I'm looking around. I'm like, there's a bed there. Like, what's with the bed? Yes. What artistic, like, what? Yeah, yeah. And like, the more I look around, I'm like, this is this dude's house. Yeah. And it's just all open. And there's, he has this big room in the back. That's the gallery. That's the gallery. And when you come in, he like says the same thing to everybody. He's like, he goes, everything's for sale except for my dogs. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's cool. <laughs> so like, it's, it's, I think part of the arts process, you meet a lot of fun characters. Yeah, yeah. You meet a lot of people that are out there. But I, I appreciate that yeah. too, you know. I, I like people who live the way they want to live and act the way they want to act. Yeah. You know? That's awesome. Though. Yeah. Awesome no. story. So yeah, no, I definitely recommend <laughs> yeah, the I'll Easton and, and Allentown area. I'll definitely check those. Absolutely. So what are you working on now? Anything? What, what's um, new coming? Right now, I have uh, an event coming up. Um, not me, man, per se. Um, the curator mm-hmm. in November. It's a a jazz show, and um, I'll be working on like five or six jazz pieces. Okay. Coming up, and um, well, these are all going to be mixed media. Um, okay. I'm actually going to be showing my first uh, watercolor. I have nobody's oh, ever seen my watercolors. Nice. And I'm doing one portrait, and probably the rest will be um, oil paintings. And I'll okay. do one with caricatures. 
but it's <laughs> all um, jazz. The theme is definitely jazz, and I'm I'm looking forward oh. to that because I've been dying to do some jazz pieces as right. as you do, man. Yeah, yeah, no, I just yeah, yeah. Your your stuff is in, this is incredible, man. Thank you. Yeah, the, the Donegan one, now that one. There are just maybe you feel this way sometimes too, and and it's not an ego thing, but mm -hmm. there are times when I'm working on a piece, and like sometimes you're you're you don't know how it's going, and there yeah. are and there there are times for me when I'm working on a piece. And I just kind of know, like, okay, the stars are aligning on this one, yeah, yeah, and I absolutely. better not screw it up, yeah, absolutely, because this this one will be a good one if I could pull it off, mm -hmm. you know? Absolutely, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's that's kind of nerve wracking. Yeah. When you're so on, and yeah. you're just like, you know, <laughs> and and you know, you you you'll say it sometimes. You'll work, and then you come upstairs like, I had mm -hmm. a bad session. Yeah. I'll wait till tomorrow, and, mm -hmm. you know, and I'll just step away. When I'm when I start getting frustrated, I just step away. Yeah, and, yeah as do and, I. And see how tomorrow yeah. feels. But because and there are portraits of, like that I was very frustrated with, yeah. and I'd step away and come back I'm like, why was I? Like, yeah. What? Absolutely. Like yeah. I just you realize mm -hmm. you just got too yeah it's, too much. It's the mood sometimes. <laughs> You know, um, drawing, the thing is, when, when I started doing portraiture, I didn't realize that this isn't going to take me two hours. Yeah. But I'm, I'm, I was mainly doing caricatures and cartoons. That's quick. Right. You know, the outcome is like this. Yeah. So I really had to learn patience on, on these portraits. And for me, when I first started, it would take two days, three days. Mm -hmm. But um, if, if you look on my page, you'll notice from the beginning, from when I started all the way right. up till now, the the progression and and, and how I um, became a little more patient. So, mm -hmm. but frustration is definitely <laughs> you know that's, yeah. it's kind of hard, and I just wait it out. I put it to the side and just wait it out. Okay. You know? Yeah, no, as do I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to. But like you said, sometimes the stars are aligned and you can't do no wrong. Right. <laughs> and, and it, yeah, but it makes you more nervous. Yeah, it does. It does because, you know, you're very, everything feels sketchy to you. Right. If I do yeah. this, if I mess this up, and sometimes you do something, you're like, I don't like it. That's when I leave. <laughs> you know, that's when I'm like, you know what? Right. But before I proceed and, and really, you know, mess this up, I'll just walk away mm -hmm. yeah, and see what tomorrow brings. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, which, um, if you can get into it, uh, which jazz artists are you working on for this show? Or if you'd rather leave it a surprise, can... no, 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 um, not at all. Um, I, I would. Um, I'm, I want to do Billie Holiday. I'm gonna. That one's gonna be one of my portraits. That's that's gonna okay. be a portrait. Um, I was looking at Ray Charles. Okay. That's that's you know on the wall. He might he might be the the watercolor. It depends. And the rest, I'm gonna come up with my own, my own stuff. Okay. It cool. won't be um, nobody famous. Gotcha. You know? I have one that I that I might want to. There was a cool jazz picture of a guy sitting uh, with a bass, with a cigarette, and so mm. smoky. You know, okay. I want to kind of create that vibe. So I, I might look into something like that as well. But um, it should be fun. Yeah, so I start working tomorrow. <laughs> Actually, okay. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Tomorrow I go in and it'll be a month at these things. So hopefully gotcha. it works out well. You know? No, that'd be you know, cool. Yeah, that'd yeah, be cool. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. So we're just like winding up to the end of our time slot here. Okay. But um, where can folks find your stuff? If they um, want to look you up. Um, on Instagram, I am at uh, Rivera underscore art underscore studio. And on Facebook, Jose Rivera. And um, I'm also hanging at the Gamut hmm. uh, Gallery till December, I believe. Okay. And that's pretty much cool. it. Yeah, yeah. And you do, you take commissions? I absolutely do okay. take commissions. And um, I have an email. Uh, can, I, can I say that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, J-R-I-V-51675 at gmail.com. So if anybody's interested, give me an email and uh, we'll work it out. Cool. Yeah. No, that's no, that's awesome, and that yeah. you know, like, again, because this is um, like audit, auditory medium, mm -hmm. and we're talking about visual art. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. always want to make sure that people can can, actually can find and, and all your info will be like um, 
underneath the recordings awesome, and, awesome. and listed there, oh, that is so great. people can just boom. So yeah, and um, did you have a, a a date for that jazz show or, or not? Um, you can I'll, get back to me. On yeah, that. I'll get back to you. On okay. That one, and I have to give you the information. As well. Okay, cool. I'll cool. speak to the lady tonight. All right. Home. Awesome. It's cool. not here though. Further out, it might be even in Easton. So. Oh okay, yeah, 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 that's fine. So, yeah. I just did um like a show in Staten Island. Oh yeah. Again, yeah. Uh-huh. So I'll travel. That's that was awesome. a jazz show. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. That's I, awesome, man. Yeah, I, I wrote. I sat down and wrote to like every jazz club in New York. Just why not? Just yeah. email everybody, and um, a, f- a handful got back to me. But one of them was a newer thing on Staten Island, and um, I had never had a, my art shown on Staten Island, my hometown. Yeah. You know, because I really didn't get to the level of showing yeah, until yeah, I came yeah. here. So Jose, like the ability to do a show. In my hometown, oh, dude, like nobody could have showed up, I would have been just as happy, yeah. just for for me, for you. you know, like yeah, yeah. Man. That's that's an incredible story, man. Yeah, that was that's cool. Good. Very inspiring too, that you pushed and yeah. You know, I, I believe I have to be a little more like that, man. That's inspiring. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's, gotta it's push for what you want. Kind man. of thing, like you. What do you got to lose? That's like yeah, I I hit yeah. that wall. Yeah. Like it took me to to get to that point. Mm-hmm. Be like, well, eh, what's the difference? Yeah, yeah. Facing sometimes you know facing rejection is like, oh, uh, yeah. But now I, I'm definitely at that point too. What's the worst that can happen? Yeah. You say no, or we're not interested. Right. And okay. the art world is a place where you get you gotta get used to it yeah, quick. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. You gotta have a kind of thick and, skin. Yeah. Definitely, I'm I'm learning that. Yeah, because there's all like, for the people who like love it. There's gonna be someone who's gonna find something. Oh yeah, you know? I know. Goodness, yeah, I know. I uh, believe me, and um, you you know you try because every artist we're our worst, our own worst critic. I believe. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm definitely my worst critic, and um, you know sometimes hearing a little jab at your art, you know, yes. it's, it's, oh, it it's does, kind of uh, it does take much. <laughs> yes, like, yeah, yeah, th- just a little jab, and it'll throw you. You know, it'll set you back. And yeah, you're angry and. Yeah. You, know, you want to hand them the pencil, then show me how to do it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> show me, Mr. Yeah. Artist. And, uh, but, um, yeah, you, you know, I'm, I'm learning to grow thick skin. Um, my, my girlfriend hmm. is brutally honest with me when it comes okay. to art. Yeah, and, and, you know, sometimes when I need a little inspiration, even though if I get upset, which normally I do, okay. <laughs> but it, it keeps me... Right. fighting harder and I do it purposely you know right. you know I'll go there and she'll just you know wail on it right you know? but um she pushes me she definitely pushes no, me no and that's so. that's it's been like to have the honest opinion of someone oh, yeah. who's not a stranger yeah so absolutely. you know yeah. it's coming from yeah, a place it's coming from all, from the heart you right know? and um I I I, I do it just to it, it just pushes me like mm-hmm. I'm gonna show you <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to my studio <laughs> right now I'm gonna no. show you so bad. <laughs> Sometimes that's what you need, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really is. You know, but hearing it from a complete stranger is it's, it's not only nerve wracking, but I mean, as as well as you know, because um, mm-hmm. you you do galleries as well. It's it's a little nerve wracking. Yeah, it, it is. You know? I've gotten like I've gotten it on um, Instagram too. Yeah. Because there, like, there's no consequence. Oh yeah, yeah. So people will just yeah, curl whatever yeah. they want. Yeah, and I've gotten yeah. some good ones that I've learned to like have fun with them yes, rather than yes, be yeah. upset about yeah, them yeah, yeah. and like screenshot them mm-hmm. and save them somewhere yeah, yeah. just to go back and laugh at yeah man you I know? mean you know what? It, to me I, I believe we all need a little bit of criticism right but it, you know some people don't know how to you know use constructive criticism they'll just be you know not brutally honest I think like somewhat mean right you know what I mean Um, you know there, there's times you hear a little lips look off or you know the nostril looks and you know you you put so much work into it and, right you know but you know you got to learn the to ease back and you know that's yeah. only one opinion right opposed to the the other 40 people that said that guy that, yeah that's an awesome right. picture you know what i mean exactly so, and truthfully know. like faces like especially when you start drawing them they're not symmetrical and they're not oh, even yeah, yeah you know yeah. Absolutely. Eyes are different. No, nose mm-hmm. and nostrils mm-hmm. are different, and it really, a lot of times, it isn't until 
you're that intricate in yeah, them that yeah. you realize like geez and you draw it and like for me personally like I'll draw it the way it is mm-hmm. and it you know where that subtlety of um, just like a miss you know not I can search for the word but just the the, the apparition in their face mm-hmm. that doesn't like it, it stands out more in the drawing because yeah, yeah. now you're just working in black and white yeah 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 and it's it turns from subtle to glaring yeah yeah and you're like oh yeah, what are, you know. yeah how do I <laughs> fix this or, or but yeah I, I totally I totally get that <laughs> but um yeah like it's like I said man, you gotta take the good with the bad yeah. and accept it and keep doing your thing you know mm-hmm. that's Definitely. all we can do yeah absolutely yeah, yeah, yeah. but Jose like, this has been amazing this is I'm amazing, so glad man. you did the show <laughs> it's so cool to meet you and then get you on so soon thank you thank you no, um, this was fun you're an amazing artist too man no, thank just you I appreciate it this, this has been an honor man and a pleasure and you guys are cool man Awesome. Cool. Now, I hope we get the chance to work together a lot oh, more. Oh, we definitely will, man. We cool. definitely, definitely will. And thank you, everybody out there. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. This has been awesome. <laughs> cool. Thanks again, man. All right. Thank you. Thank you for listening to the Planet Shivers podcast. This production and others can be found on iTunes, SoundCloud, and archives.org. It can also be found with video content on the Albert Shivers YouTube channel. You can find even more content on Facebook at Albert Shivers Visual Artist and on Instagram at Albert Shivers. You can find Isaac Wilson's work on Instagram at when in Zen. That's when underscore in underscore Zen. Thank you again for listening and don't forget to like and subscribe.